Oh my god. Baga Bandicoot. What's going on everybody? I am Chibaka Bandicoot and welcome back to the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX post-game Nuzlocke. In the previous episode, our team got wiped. Luckily, we got one last chance to rescue ourselves with a new team. Will we be able to make it through this tough dungeon? Let's find out with this next episode. Let's get started. This game wants to cheat me? All right, I'm about to cheat this game. No mercy. Wait, is this the same? Now, I'm about to show you why bringing a ground type is the best idea. It's going to be slightly harder going through this dungeon this time though because I don't have the x-ray specs. That make me bring out the big guns. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I'll show why this is the best Pokemon in the game. This guy and Sans my Sand Slash working together? We're unbeatable. I. Like I said, this game, I'm not, it's gonna, it's gonna one shot me, I'm gonna one shot everybody in this dungeon. Look at that. Taught it did, cause he knows he's about to hide, you can't hit him. Pedal dance, you can't get confused because of your item. Y'all not gonna stand a chance in this dungeon. I got the item before the trap could activate. Some four, where are you going? Okay. Well, floor. Like, was I on a floor 10 or 11? I don't remember. But it's alright, This I brought the rescue squad. Specifically made for this dungeon. 
Look at that. Sand Slash just hides underground so the water type Pokemon can't do anything. It's the perfect bait. <laughs> Whatever I run into that Gyarados? Um, simple. I run for my life. You, sh you should obviously know that. <laughs> Ow. I don't know. All I can get, all I can hope for is that the Gyarados does just does not one shot us, really. Biting orb. What is that? But like. Sir Skid, I never saw that in this dungeon. Actually, is this the same dungeon? Is it not randomized? I don't remember. All I gotta make sure is that I don't run into some any Gyarados and we're fine. Wait, you can ask to join our team? Huh. I sure. I didn't think it would allow me to allow Pokemon to ask to join our team in a rescue mission. Wait a second. Is this the floor of the Gyarados? If the stairs are down here, then it is. But, nah, nah, it's not. The stairs are like on the bottom left. Okay, the magic carps are appearing now. So that means Gyarados can appear now. Thank <laughs> you. 
I arrive at the floor where there is a fainted Pokemon. Wait, did I only get to the ninth floor? Oh gosh, a poly Well, Okay, I guess I must have only got to the ninth floor. Is this show? Oh yeah. Teammates are fainted. Let's rescue them. <laughs> Client legend lock. Oh, a Magikarp wants to join us. Sure. Okay, this is where I fainted at, right? So is there gonna be a monster house? Like, I don't like... There's a monster house. There's a coin right there. This is a monster house. Watch this. Oh, no? Oh, okay. Because if this is the floor I'm fainting, I feel like there's going to be a monster house wherever I fainted at. If it was like that in the original games, if you had to rescue your friend, it, it was a monster house wherever they died at. But I guess maybe they changed it. Oh, there's a whooper in front of me. I didn't even notice. I was like, why can't I move forward anymore? Just taking one step at a time. One step at a time. Not letting Pokemon sneak up on me. Is it this floor? Oh. Dragonair, you're a, uh, somewhat alive. That's funny, it said you found the drag queen you were looking for. <laughs> Told you, this rescue squad was unstoppable. They couldn't be touched. Told you bringing that ground type was a great idea. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Goldine joins the team. Sequential for potential and water. You somehow rescued your own team! Amazing! <laughs> Amazing. God, God like it didn't even get touched! I made that dungeon look like it was nothing. Okay, but do I get my teammates back? Or is it just Dragonair? Okay, you do get your teammates back. Okay. That was the one revive I can use in this dungeon. I, now, if I die here... Well, I, no, everybody here is dead anyway. Well, except for um, Sparky, because that's a main character, so someone else has to die for Sparky instead. What'd you do if you had to find each party member? Like, if they died on different floors? I'm so, That would be pretty cool. Surprised they didn't do anything like that. Do I get my items back? I do. Okay. Everything went downhill when that when that stupid Gyaradosa popped up and just one shot at everything. <laughs> like what the heck? Why? And do I got the same items? I think so. Okay. Wait. Yeah, the floor is different. Okay, I gotta find the stairs. Wait, did I not just equip the... 
Wait, I just equipped the X-ray specs. Why are they not working? Is there a Pokemon that has some ability that blocks the X-ray specs? This doesn't make sense. Unless you're telling me there's no enemy Pokemon or... Okay, I guess there just was no enemy Pokemon or items on the floor. Okay, thank goodness it did not throw me on the water. If it threw me on the water, it would have that would have been bad. It's crazy though. That I have not. This is the first mission I've ran into while in here. Oh my goodness, I'm tired of these Pokemon using these water type moves. Stop making it rain. <laughs> Though that I'm that pretty yeah, that would have been a cool mechanic if you did have to rescue all your teammates. But I guess they just didn't do that. Oh, what did they see? They picked up iron. Wait, what happened to all my orange berries? I had way more than just three orange berries. Oh, look at Skip Loom all going all the way over there to pick up that item. Thank you, Skip Loom. You're an amazing teammate. Thank you. That's so sweet of you to do that for us. I'm now afraid of Magikarp because <laughs> what? Why shed skin not working? That was weird. Usually Dragon there be like, yeah, I'm gonna shed skin the place up. crazy thing is, is Sparky's um, HP is like over 100 <laughs> and, and that Gyarados did like 180 something or I don't even remember how much it did but the damage was ridiculous. <laughs>
This game is crazy though. A Pokemon on your team dies <laughs> and it punishes you for that by making the opponent ev uh, go into awakening mode. <laughs> As if it wasn't already a problem that the Pokemon was shot. And then the Gyarados went at Mega Evolved. Like, what? Prosper Ribbon. Hold on. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. Okay, I thought it said it just heals stuff, but I see it now. So it heals stuff if you pick up money. Over here, use ominous wind. Not about to let that happen. Does that Poly World remember we're here? Yes, it does. Alright, go ahead. Do that. I'll just go to the stairs. <laughs> You're not gonna defend the stairs? I'll move on. Wait, what? Oh no, I gotta go this way. Oh, I'm surprised you did not use um, any wind, ominous um, wind. Okay, just gotta get to floor 18 and then we can escape from this nightmare. Low Ted. But this dungeon definitely convinced me of one thing though. I'm definitely not ready for Stormy Sea, and not, I'm definitely not ready to fight Groudon. I mean, Kyogre.
Who knows, I might be ready to fight Groudon, because Ed, Ed, and Eddie might be like, Bah! Oh, H, no, there is a Gyarados. <sighs> I'm gonna avoid that thing at all costs. Gosh, I tried to push Wurmple out the way because I knew this stupid thing was going to sit here <laughs> and just destroy it. <laughs> Can I destroy this with Electric Ball? Or a Grass Knife four times effective, what am I talking about? Yeah. But, okay, this, this, uh, why does it just go over them? <laughs> it literally right in front of me. Oh yeah, Slippist, thank you for the follow. I don't know how I did not see that earlier. But thank you, I appreciate it. Pokemon in this dungeon got a lot of health. Wait, so if I were to use Inviting Orb... I got a higher chance of recruiting Pokemon? Oh wait, maybe you need to use that to get shiny Pokemon.
Oh, dang, this room got a ton of Pokemon. Uh, go back. <laughs> Actually, no, they can't hit me from that far, right? can they? Phoebus. Oh, wait, Grass Knot. Why don't I use Grass Knot? That's stronger. Wait, what is that? Oh wait, no, that's a max elixir behind like a coral reef. I thought that was some type of new item. I was so confused. Is that a potty bath? Yeah, it's the highest evolution. I don't want to use this charge, though. Okay, so this thing must have more than 120 health. And that's a monster house. Do I have a troll orb? Lasso orb? Now, it would be crazy for me to walk into a monster house. But considering all the crazy things that has already happened, I might as well do it. Wow, the gravity rock. <laughs> I mean, Geo Pebble sucks. You cannot hit anything. Yeah, Steamroll is definitely one of the best rare qualities, so I kept Sparky with it. Oh wait, before I go to the monster health, I should be at, I mean monster house, I should be at full health. Let's not be an idiot. <laughs> okay. And then which orb will I use? Fall seal? Or fall hold. Actually, I got two fall hold. Or I could try the new lasso one. Nah. Actually, yeah, let's go with the petrify orb. Monster house.
No. Oh wait, I forgot I need to check for traps. Oh, but I can't check for traps because I would automatically use Discharge. I'm laughing that this crack sire is continuing to try to hit <laughs> coughing when it's levitating. Is there a trap right here? There might be a trap right here. Ooh, let's go, Mar Stomp. Got another starter Pokemon. Okay, now that Spike can move forward because if it teammates can't activate traps. <laughs> um No, Sparky, why'd you use Discharge? You were not supposed to use Discharge. <laughs> oh, Sparky, why did you use Discharge? Dang it, Sparky! Oh my goodness. You had one job, Sparky. Do not use Discharge. <laughs> now you just woke up every enemy in this stupid room. You gotta go. Okay. Monster house complete. Trying to look this way so I could not step on a trap. Switch out the escape board. Can you use that item?
Yeah, I know I could turn Discharge off. I just forgot that it was on and then Sparky just used it. Which is kind of funny because Sparky hasn't used it before. <laughs> Sparky did not use it any other time because all the Pokemon were petrified, but I guess because one of the Pokemon wasn't petrified, he was like, let me use Discharge! And so then everybody uh, woke up. Okay, finally made it to the final floor that I need to get to. This is the last mission, right? Yep, okay. It's a sleeping poly world. I'm hungry now. Gosh, how many Pokemon has died in this dungeon? Phoebus? Um, way too many Pokemon. <laughs> See, this is why I don't like water. It's my worst enemy. I've had the most Pokemon die in this dungeon alone. And now I'm poisoned. Yo, if I could find some money, I could get rid of this poison. Wish cash. Mission complete. Oh boy. I feel like I was in that dungeon for like way more than an hour. <laughs> Coughing. That. Yeah. Marsh Starp. Alright. I think that's the first starter Pokemon I've gotten. Besides, you know, me and uh, Sparky. Marsh Stomp, you know, stomping in the marsh on muddy feet. I don't know. Alright, alright. Unfavorited you two? Okay. I don't have any more of the evolution lines, do I? I don't think so. Okay, now the Pokemon befriended. Okay, we got gold, a quenchal, you're dead, you're still alive, you're still alive. Was there another Pokemon that fainted? Oh, Electrike, but that's not here. Yeah. Okay. Now. 
since Sparky died, a Pokemon has to be killed. Besides Sparky. A random Pokemon between Gold, Aquential, Gasnator, and Muddy Feet. So, I'm just gonna go to Google, type in random number generator from 1 to 4. With Gold being 1, Quenchel being 2, Gasinated being 3, and Muddy Feet being 4. And one of them has to die. Okay, let's see. It's going to be number 3. Gasinator is dead. Sorry, Gasinator. You never got a chance. Thank you for staying until the end of the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and comment below. Alright, until next time, remember to be a legend and have a great day.